the Limerick City Darkness into Light uh, initiative, it's a massive event. We had 10,000 people attend this year and it took me four months uh, from I began organising it to the day the event happened and a lot of work afterwards too. Uh, 400 people were involved in making it uh, the success that it was. That included a lot of students from the university here. For the first year ever I reached out to UL students and they were a massive support. They volunteered in a number of different ways from running our Twitter account to the Instagram account to helping sign people up to working in the shop all across the board. So a lot of the students here were involved in the initiative and volunteered through me. But we also had uh, a, an amazing amount of people in the city, where there was the scouts, it was local businesses, hotels. The university linked through the city to create this amazing event that raised a massive amount of money for uh, a wonderful charity in Pieta House, but also created an unbelievable awareness of the service that they provide and that helps destigmatize mental health in society as well, which is one of the key objectives in the initiative. I gained so much from becoming a UL student that I just wanted to give back. So Tony offered me a volunteering opportunity with Darkness into Light Limerick City, which he was in charge of running, and I just ran at the opportunity. For the Darkness into Light walk this year, I was one of the five social media coordinators chosen from UL to help with the Twitter page. So I was engaging with the Limerick community, answering their questions, any queries, informing them of what the whole walk was about when it was on, just all those kind of details. The Twitter page that we were running, there was more people following that page than there are living in the island that I come from. So it was nice to bring the whole idea of community on a small island to a bigger, larger scale like Limerick City and to see the same kind of friendliness and community involvement in such a large scale area. Pieta House, uh, the charity that Darkness Into Light funds, is an amazing charity that free of charge will take people who are feeling suicidal and offer them counselling. The reason that I got involved in this charity particularly is that five years ago I lost my own mother to suicide. Uh, the resulting effects of that and a relationship breakdown meant that I became suicidal myself. I used the university's counselling department to support me through that period and I came out of it on the other end as a very strong person who was thriving and loving life and I decided then to give back and while I also help um, with the services here in the university and stigmatise mental health, Pieta House and the community in Limerick City is an amazing charity and I think the, the funds raised from Darkness Into Light help them provide the free service to people who couldn't afford it or wouldn't reach out for it otherwise. I love the idea of the President's Volunteer Award and I've always volunteered through my whole time in the university. I, giving back to other people is the most selfish thing I do because I get so much out of it. Whether it's the skills that I developed uh, by doing this or just the feeling uh, I, of getting out of bed and knowing that you're helping other people, uh, particularly for this charity which means a lot to me. I get as much out of this as I give to it and I'd, I'd encourage anyone that doesn't volunteer to get involved themselves and give back to whatever any one of the wonderful charities that are around Ireland.